Livestock plays an important role in the livelihood of most farmers by providing food to the family, supporting crop production, and earning farm families' income. However, feed shortage and poor quality of available feeds continue to be a major challenge for farmers in Kenya. Farmers usually lack good quality feed that can enhance milk production as their animals depend on various grasses and crop residues which are only available in abundance during the rainy season. As such, poor feeding leads to poor health and low milk production, hence farmers get low income from their livestock. Fodder can be conserved to feed livestock during periods of shortage, caused by limited pasture growth or inadequate pasture conditions. What the farmer needs to do is to store feed when it's in plenty, for them to use the feed when there is scarcity. And silage making is one of the techniques for conserving feed. And the advantages of um, why we do silage uh, making is, as I said, we are conserving feed when it's plenty for the time that there is scarce. Again, you'll find that in some cases there are some uh, fodder crops that are only available in certain seasons. For example, maize. Uh, maize is a seasonal you know, crop. So you have maize at a particular time, but you don't have it at another time. In this video, we will learn from farmers in Kenya how to make pit silage from maize. Ini mbinu ambao ni raizi kwa ufukaji wa ngombe. Ngombe haitatembea iko karibu hapo. Inakupatia unalisha ngombe inatoa maziwa mingi. Hiyo maziwa inakusaidia pesa, pesa ambapo utairudisha shule na na nyingine itapaki kwa ngombe kuchitafutia chakula yenyewe inachilisha yenyewe pili kazi ya ya sile cha kutengeneza sile inakupatia muda ambapo unaweza unaweza fanya kazi zingine tofauti the key to making silage is to create the right conditions for a good fermentation let us hear from an experienced farmer how to know that your maize is ready to be made into silage. Kwanza kabisa eh unalima shamba. Unapanda faradi aina ya mahindi. Kuna mahindi ya miezi tatu na kuna mahindi ya miezi miwili na nusu na mahindi ya muda mrefu. Sasa kwa hiyo mahindi unapanda kuna muda ambapo kwa wizara haikaja kukifikia kiwango fulani miezi fulani itakuwa iko tayari na pia kuna una, ukienda kwa shamba yako unaikuza mahindi unasikia vile ime, imechaza na una harvest ikiwa na maziwa ukifinya tu hivi ama ukikuza na mkono wako ina mwaka maziwa hapo ndiye mahindi itakuwa imekuwa tayari at this stage the kernels are full of sugars that are needed for fermentation Silage has to be made within hours of harvesting the maize or else it will start to decompose and will not be suitable for silaging. Collect the harvested maize in a truck or containers and move it immediately to the place you will chop and make your silage. You can cut the fodder by hand but this requires a lot of labor. So it is better to use a chopper that easily cuts the maize into small pieces. This is the best size for your cattle's digestion. If you do not have a chopper, then find one to rent when you make silage. If left too long in the open air, the pile will heat up and this will increase the chance that everything will spoil. Once you have chopped your silage, 
prepare a shallow pit depending on your feeding requirement. Two cubic meter can store a thousand kilograms or 20 bags of fresh chopped maize. The area of your pit silage should be preferably on slightly sloping ground. Because you cannot move silage once it is made, ensure this space is free from potential disturbances. Make sure it is protected from water as this will rot the silage and from animals that may dig into your silage pile. Kuna aina tatu za kuweka silage. Kwanza nikianza nilianza na mbinu ya kuweka kwa makaratasi ambayo inaitwa silage tube. Nikaweka kwa hiyo silage tube na nikaweka na nika compact na chasa hiyo na shaka alafu unaweka unakanyaka step by step. Mbinu nyingine ya pili Unaiweka, unaitandika karatazi chini bila kuchimba shimo. Unaiweka chini na unamuaka silage na unaifunika na hiyo karatazi. Kabisa mbako unaifunga, alafu unaichimba kando kando, unamuaka mchanga kama maka. Unafunika kama maka kabisa, unafunike vizuri kabisa. Unakaza unakikisha hiko imeshikana, hakuna penye upepu, u, u, ewa popote penye imeingia ama ume kanyaka umetoa ewa kabisa umecombact mpaka umetoa ewa yote ndani things to consider when you are a farmer is making silage the first thing is that you must have enough fodder because you are conserving the excess remember silage making has a cost so there must be a benefit to outweigh that cost of doing the silage yeah? number 2 they also have to consider a feed budget yeah how many animals do they have and how much do those animals consume. Then they also have to think about uh, the duration of feed scarcity. How, when is it and how long will it take? That way they will be able now to know, I'll make this amount of silage that will take me up to the next season. Place polythene sheeting over the sides and floor of the pit so that the forage does not come into contact with soil. Then empty one bag of about 50 kilograms of your first layer of chopped maize and then spread into a thin layer. Repeat this until you fill the pit. To reduce the risk of air pockets in the pile, compress it with your body weight. Uwa tuna kanyaka na tractor. Lapta kama tractor hakuna tunaweza tumia tunaweza weka kentang maji na tuna roll na The more you compress it the more air you push out of the pile to ensure a good fermentation This stage we are compacting the fodder to expel the air in between so once you exclude air, then the good bacteria that we want is the one that now will start now in eating into the sugars that are in the maize, producing lactic acid. And this lactic acid will make uh, the environment inside the, uh, the silage very acidic for the spoilage bacteria. And therefore, your fodder will remain conserved for a very long time. When you have finished, pull the thick plastic over and across the pile, but make sure it is tucked tightly to avoid any air pockets. To keep the pile compressed for fermentation and prevent damage of the polythene from rain, birds and rodents, slowly spread sand on top of the plastic. Finally, dig a small trench around the sides of the pit to prevent water from seeping into the silage. The silage will be ready for feeding after 21 days. Tangu tuan se silage, tu me improve, tu me pata masiwa mingi, ata tu me kusomeshwa tu 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 me ona tu masiwa. 
kujenga nyumba tumejenga once the silage is ready for use let as little air as possible enter the pile even when you take from it daily any silage that is too dark or rotten do not feed it to any animals large animals will require 20 to 25 kilograms of silage a day like any new feed it is always best to introduce the silage gradually so the animals get used to the taste it is best not to feed silage to animals under 6 months as their digestive systems are not fully developed silage is not easily digested by calves so they will not benefit from its nutrition making silage is hard work for one day but you reap the benefits for the entire year let us review the key steps to make maize silage prepare a pit in an area that is free from potential disturbances and protected from water and animals that may dig into your silage pile make sure the maize kernels are at the right stage to provide enough sugars for the fermentation harvest the maize when the ears are full the corn is not too dry or too wet and the maize produces a milky substance To make silage with freshly chopped maize, use a fodder chopper and chop into small pieces. For a good fermentation, compress each layer of silage to remove as much air as possible. Cover the silage using a thick plastic sheet. Tuck it in well and weigh it down with sand. After 21 days, the silage is ready for feeding. By making silage, your animals benefit from the entire maize plant and will help you give good milk production.